Hey everybody, this is Karma. Welcome to episode 13 of My Life Stories. This video was sponsored by Pops Trading Post. A Pops Trading Post link has been listed below. Thank you for joining me. I have an excellent pro-revenge story by an author all called DF and a TIFU story. For those of you that don't know what TIFU means, it stands for Today I Fudged Up. So get your feet up, get comfortable, and let's get started with the first story called Taking Candy from a Baby. This is pure gold, my friends. So I'm at the dollar store to get a spade to plant bulbs in my garden. And this little spoiled brat of a kid was determined to throw a literal drop down into the floor temper tantrum over these larger candy bars. Then he proceeded to call his mother and, I quote, a witch with a B because she wouldn't get him this particular sized bar. Mom was obviously uncomfortable, humiliated, and distraught with this exhibition. She was so uncomfortable, she was apologizing to the other customers in the store and essentially begging with this rotten little bag of wind to get up off the floor and pipe down. I was waiting for her to smack the living do out of him. Instead of administering some much-needed discipline, she literally gave up and gave in. I was in total shock at this point. Nevertheless, it explained this entire spectacle. She whispered in a hushed voice, I'll get you the bigger candy bar when we get to the register. Now get up out of the floor. You are embarrassing me. When it came time to check out this lady and her monster child, they were behind me in line. Mama was wiping tears out of her child's eyes. I overheard her say, Are those the ones you want? This snot-nosed juvenile delinquent nodded in agreement. I had never seen a presentation quite like this in all my born days. I would have spanked his buns right there on the spot. Well, I have to confess... I had no expectation of spending $24 on candy bars. But the look on that little smart jerk's face as I walked out the door with every single bar they had left was priceless. Uh-huh, best $24 I ever spent. And everybody... Here's a picture that DF has of the receipt for $24 and what looks like 12 giant Hershey bars. <laughs> I cracked up when I read this story. I mean, how many times do you actually get a chance to mentor a young person like this? I will bet you $24 that DF's small gesture really changed this kid's world. And hopefully, he'll learn so that next time he'll behave himself so that there isn't a chance that someone else will swoop in and take all the candy. I wish I had been there to see this all go down. DF, you're awesome. And thank you, DF, for letting me read your story. I really, really enjoyed it. If anyone else has had an instance where they were able to teach a younger person a lesson like this, please let me know in the comments section or leave me three heart emojis so that I know you like this story. Likes and comments are the best way to show your support of this channel. And now on to the second story called TIFU or Today I Fudged Up. Dear Karma, I know that the stories you read on your channel never include the names of the people who sent you the stories, and that is why I am writing this, to get it off my chest. Today, I royally fudged up. My husband and I have busy lives. We both work and have kids. Sometimes, we have to schedule time to be together, 
and sometimes it just happens naturally. Last night, my husband got home in a really bad mood that continued until dinner time. As a distraction, I offered him a little treat in the bedroom, and I was happy when he accepted. So we raced to the bedroom. Opportunities like this must be taken advantage of, or you, you never see them again. We had a great time, and during our little tete-a-tete, I had changed positions. Once we were done, I decided to change back to my original position so that I could lie in bed normally when it happened. I, I uh, broke wind? I'm five foot five inches, and my husband is six foot one inch tall. He normally stretches out to his full height in bed. Without saying a word, I saw him curl up in the fetal position, not facing me. I'm sure he was dying to laugh on the inside, and I was humiliated. It was an accident. I never planned for this to happen. My husband graciously did not mention anything today, but I keep reliving this moment over and over in my mind. Please, any advice would be appreciated to get this boulder off my chest. Thank you for listening. Uh-huh. Okay, where do I begin? Okay. Okay. Well, first of all, I think you may be blowing this incident a, a little out of proportion. I mean, who hasn't done something embarrassing at least once in their lives? Like sneeze in someone's face or, or laugh so hard you have an accident. Or you're in church and you get the church giggles. Or maybe you ate something that didn't agree with you and, and causes you a lot of duress. The thing is, if I do something embarrassing, I think it, it's better to do it with someone who loves me. And someone who's going to care about my feelings. Now it's unfortunate that this happened during an intimate time with your husband. But quit worrying about it. And if it really bothers you so much, talk to your husband about it. I'm sure he's either going to forget all about it in a couple of days, or he's only going to remember the good parts that brought him out of his bad mood. And if he doesn't, and he won't let it go, you're only human. Go ahead and laugh at yourself. And remember that what goes around comes around. I hope I was able to help you overcome your embarrassment. If anyone else has something embarrassing like this that has happened to them that they would like to share, um, or if anyone has any words of wisdom or comfort for this OP, uh, please leave them in the comments section. Or leave her three heart emojis for support. Thank you to both of the authors that sent me their stories. If you would like your story read on my channel, please submit it to karma at karmageddon.com or post to you slash karmageddon on Reddit. All stories will be read anonymously with either initials or descriptions only. Thanks again, Pops Trading Post, for sponsoring this video. If you would like to place an order through Pops Trading Post, please use discount code KARMAGEDDON, all caps, for a 20% discount at checkout. That's my video for today. If you made it this far, thank you, and remember, do something nice today, it's not the and turn. help me change the world. It's my turn to shine, like the rain. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, feel free to share this video with anyone, and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications to not miss any new content that comes out. Thank you so much for all your feedback and support. 
catch you in the next one. Laters!